Royal Television. We inspire. To the business of sun for almost 24 years now. We sell the sun to those people that were building their various house. So people want to use it for sun feeding of their ground, their house, their land. They use for building as well. It depends on what type of job you want sun for. The sun is coming from the creek. We need to move two hours from the community here down to the lagoon. That is where we are going to get it. We have a minor manual workers that are working it with us. We normally go to the river by something seven because of the breeze. Sometimes the weather used to change. The weather has already changed now. So that is why we normally go at night. By the August, we normally go in the morning by something five. So now we go something seven. When we get there, we used to use uh, almost two to three hours in the road before we get there. When we get there, we sleep. By something six, we wake up and we start work. You see all this ladder that is inside this boat. We we'll put it inside the water. After we put it, we we'll use buckets to enter inside. We we'll breathe in. After we we'll breathe in, we we'll come again. We we'll bring the sand. We we'll put it inside the boat. We we'll go back again. We we'll put it inside the boat. We we'll go back again. We we'll put it inside the boat till the boat will finish. When I enter inside and come out, it's 30 seconds. This is open. Why this is a two? Why this is Akaba? Then, uh, why this is Ajay, which is Padro? Well, this is the bucket that we normally use to pack the sand. We have the one that the people are loading, and we have the people that were discharging. Their own work is quite different. The people that were discharging, they also, they also need to know how to swim. And their own mechanical instrument is shovel and the basket which you are using. So after they, they get their money daily basis. Actually, people get home 3,000, 5,000 naira daily. We are carrying the boat uh, 7.5 now. So we too will share the, the 7.5. So we share it. We first collect a uh, shop money, can collect 2,000. Then, then when we come back, we collect our balance, which is 5,500. By something May, June, that is a normal, that is the time that the storm you normally blew. When we are coming, when we see that the, the thing is dark at our back, so we we'll just take our shovel, we jack the sand inside the water. When we jack it, the boat will come up. When we come up, when the wave is coming, so the boat will be moving, shaking, shaking like this, as in, will be dodging the, dodging the, the wave. So if you don't fast, if you don't fast, the boat will enter the under the river, under the water. After I go down, we we'll find a boat to enter and come out. It will be on top of the, the opo that we will hold the opo, which is that big stick. We will hold it till we see somebody that will come to come and rescue us. So then after they see us, we'll be shouting, sir, please help us, please help us, please help us. 
so they will now come. After they come, they will now carry us. One person cannot control the wave. So one person is piloting the boat with the engine. Why two people will be inside bailing the water out? So for the so that the boat will not be able to sink. So that is the reason why you can see three persons on it. And when they want to discharge it as well, you can see we have about four persons or five persons discharging it again. It, it can, it can, it's not possible for one person to go and load the basket and at the same time carry it and discharge it. So it's very difficult. When they discharge it, it comes up. But if they've not discharged it, look at the way they load it now. This is the way they bring it from Lagoon. The lagoon is far distant, it's a long distance. This is more than 20, 20 tons of sand. During the time, the, this is a few times that uh, the dredger come, all our, our market going down. We couldn't sell as, do, as we were selling before. We don't know what to do about it, but because uh, they are self coming from a uh, government too. That is why we don't have power to challenge them unless the government help us on it. They are giving us stuff to The dressing, the pumping and selling. They are giving us tough time. Tough time. Also, if you go to Langbasa side, you can see many dressers pumping and selling. And that dressing, I, I, I'm not a, I don't go to school like that, but people are saying that time to come, it will affect the area. I've been doing it uh, over 16 to 17 years now. It's just to, it's to, it's to survive. This work is helping. So that uh, if you don't, some people have no mind, they can't uh, bear pains. If you don't bear pains, you can't make anything. Even anything you are doing, you must endure. Endurance the the answer to any, anything. If you are in hard condition, that there is no way you don't go to school or you don't have any work, by folding your arm and sitting down at home begging, you better do something like this. Everybody wants to build out. Everybody wants to have a property, a landed property. We have a moving property, we have a house property. There is no way in Nigeria today you need to have your, your own personal house because we keep renting, renting, renting. Thank God today, for the past 30 years, I've not rent house. I have my own personal house. I have the one people are paying me as well. And I got this through this. There is no way government will stop it because government will keep building. They are building estates, doing bridge, doing road. These are the signs they will use to do it. So I still, I, still, I still want my children to get it and to start from it as well.